procedure to make touch powder, nitrogen triiodide, is highly unstable and explosive, as we told you earlier. But please, don't joke with nitrogen triiodide because it is highly unstable. First step we do here, actually nitrogen triiodide is just gotten by dissolving iodine in concentrated, concentrated aqueous ammonia and then bringing it out to dry. When it dries, it becomes explosive such that a feather can even cause it to explode, as we told you earlier. But here, I don't have iodine. Remember, iodine is also unstable sublime. So this is the one I had at sublime. So what I'll do now is I'll displace out iodine from this potassium iodide. So the raw materials needed here, the potassium iodide, then conch HCl, conch HCl, then hydrogen peroxide concentrated. So that's what is needed. So first step, I have to dissolve this in water. Add any of these is white and natural. Add it in water. Then dissolve. Stir well to dissolve. Then add enough hydrochloric acid. If you see the question I'm taking place. Then followed by addition of hydrogen peroxide. At the end, you see iodine crystal. And when you get the iodine, you need to wash it well properly to get rid of excess HCl that you added. If you add dilute HCl and smoke, the iodine will not come out of the potassium iodide. Rather, the, the solution will just be reddish brown. You see iodine, but to get the crystal and the solid will be difficult. So you have to add at least concentrated HCl. I mean, concentrated HCl, you don't need to use uh, HCl or use dilute form of this. So after you have done that, what you do now, bring the iodine out, dissolve it in a concentrated ammonia also. The more quantity of ammonia you add, the safer the experiment. So you add more of this, then when you add it, allow it to sit for 10 minutes. When it sits for 10 minutes, you bring out your tie or any surface that will absorb the water so fast. You tap off the water, then you have your black powder, a reddish brown colored powder, which is wet. You drop it here, allow it to dry. Then when it dries, even a laser light can detonate it feather can detonate it and the detonation as we will show you here you may not see the intensity from this video it can blow off your finger or if you are lucky it may cut off your nail so be very very careful with nitrogen try I like but it is safe to handle when it's in liquid form if you suspect that there is nitrogen triodide what you do is just do what just apply liquid there when it's in solution form it doesn't cause problem but when it's dry it causes harm it cannot be used for explosion because it's unstable. You yourself that is handling it is not even safe. So let's go into the procedure and we just explain it. Thanks for watching.
Okay, you see that? That in your watch is very, very dangerous. Don't try it at home. Touch powder can blow off your finger. So don't try this experiment because it's too explosive that the danger you may not withstand it. It is only step when in liquid form, you can see here in the solution form, there is no problem. But if it is dry, about 0.3 grams of heat can explode to blow off your finger. And the torch from a feather is enough to make it detonate. So be very, very careful when trying this experiment. Don't even try final advice. But if you should, do with very little quantity. And it's highly unstable. If this mass even detonates it, then torch or play with caution.